luxurious shoes size 9. Look, Watson. Animal prints. I wonder what kind. Boots. Size 10. These fingers were severed with a single clean stroke, but I don't see the thumb or middle finger. A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. has been suffering for days. You did it. You're inside? Have you seen Davy? Not yet, miss, but we are on it. Please, look for my little brother. Blood here.
useful? At least that's one life saved. Smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. I know. Be prepared for anything. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. The candle was burning when it fell. A trail of wax leads to the door. Drops of blood, but not from... from a mortal wound. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it. Burnt papers, now completely unreadable. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. Watson, would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. <laughs> the hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. His corneas are already clouded. A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object piercing his heart. You are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. 
Heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. Why does it look so familiar? T for two. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. Used kitchen towel. I will need your help one more time, Doctor. Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage. Extremely sharp and deadly. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. And cruelty. Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. He looks more like a son than a servant. Arneson and Davy, 1881. Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. New Pied Piper, foreigners missing in New Orleans. The blade, Watson. A curved dagger, probably of Persian or Indian origin. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. What horrors happened here? Give for a nice bath right now, Holmes.
A dull book about local geology. Even I'd struggle. A dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson. An intruder entered through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace and out into the garden.
Davy, please open the door. After all this, Holmes, I doubt the young man would open the door to a stranger. Size 10, the owner's footprints were shallow. Size 10, the heels are sinking into the ground. Look here, Doctor. Two sets of footprints left by the same person, yet they vary in depth. What do you conclude? Hmm. Perhaps they arrived empty-handed, but left carrying something heavy. Precisely. We'll make a detective of you yet, Watson. Look at your marks on her neck. There'll be a bruise, but she should be okay. Doctor? Watson, speak to me. How is she? We were just in time, Holmes. Eula is stable, but lucky to be alive. We should take her to a hospital for a further examination. Yes. I fear I was wrong, Watson. The Sheriff is not a man to be underestimated. To lynch an innocent woman just to send a message, it's evil. We're not safe in this city, nor is anyone around us. Then we must not dawdle. Help me get Eula to her feet. No, no. I will not leave here without Davy. Miss, please, we must get you help. No, I will not be deterred. I will get my brother and bring him home. If my deductions are correct, Davy lies behind this door. He ought to be unhurt, but is no doubt shaken. Davy? Davy, you there? Davy, we understand what you witnessed before. It's safe now. You're safe. Please, let us in. Your sister wants to see you. Everything will be all right, I promise. Yeah, them gentlemen speak the truth. Just, just open the door. Big sister's here for you. Davy, oh, come here, you! Thanks, sirs. Lord bless your souls. Let me examine him, miss. I want to make sure he is unharmed. Remember, he may be mute, but he still understands you.
Davy seems in good health. The bruise is a remnant of that awful night, perhaps even caused by the intruder, but he is otherwise unharmed. In fact, I believe life here was good for the boy. Arneson and the others cared for Davy. That may have allowed him to withstand such horrors. I need your help, Davy. We know that the man with the curved dagger is responsible for all this. You recognized the man, yes? The same one in the photograph in the office upstairs, standing with Arneson. Good. Please, write his name. And one last thing. The room with an image of a bell on its door may hold important answers. Do you know a way in? Yes. I think I've got it. You have been very helpful, Davy. <laughs>